All right, welcome to A5. This is a massive four bed. Sam, take it away. That was you. You can go. All right, I'll be doing it. So this apartment was just finished today. Uh, the last thing that'll be done is just the paneling on that wall. Uh, you have your combo unit washer dryer, so the water drains and it dries. Fridge, freezer, you control the temperature from the outside. Dishwasher under the sink. Brand new soap. Once again, everything is brand new, so you'll be the first person to live in this apartment. This is a very, very big living room. Um, it's hard to capture things in video, but this is all living room right here. So huge, huge living room. And the it's other also thing, a square shape, which is nice. So. Yeah, and the ceilings, you know, if you look at the door frame, I'd say it's about 11 feet and then it's another three feet. So this is like 14 foot ceilings because we are on the first floor. So let me take you, now that you've seen the living room and the kitchen, which clearly I'm a big fan of, let me take you bedroom to bedroom. So first bedroom is here. Fits a king or a queen and a desk. Very big, real bedroom, has two big windows. Uh, another thing that we do is we polish the brick, has a lot of character. So as you can see, you got the wooden planks above the window, polished brick. And I'm gonna show you the floor space just because there's so much of it. So you can kind of see how everything would fit. Closet straight ahead, storage above the closet, very big closet. That old pipe will be gone. Like I said, this was just finished today, so the little things will be ready before we move in. Once again, very big off the living room here. Very big. Let me go back to the living room and get you another shot of it. By no means is it small, like I said. Pan all the way up. And a lot of wall space, depending on where you want to rent the TV. Now let me go to the second of four bedrooms here. Also very big. Same polished brick, closet. This bedroom, if I had to roughly guess, is about 12 feet by oh, 12 feet almost. So it's very big. Clean and a desk and tons of floor space, no problem. And you get the really tall doors. So these aren't normal doors, as you can see. I can't even fit them all in the frame because they're so tall. And then you got space above that. Like I said, don't have to bring any lighting, high hat lighting throughout. Very, very big spaces. Take you slowly. There are two full bathrooms, brand new. Rainfall showers. You put your own shower curtain in. You have two medicine cabinets, very clutch, especially when there's two people sharing a bathroom. Brand new marbling and tiling, tiling throughout. So let me give you a look at the living room from this angle so you can kind of tell. It's big. It is a very big apartment. And Sam is like 6'8", right Sam? Yeah. Hey, it's about 6'1", right? 6'1"? Six, 6'1". Six Alright, well if I lie and tell people I'm 6 feet, you have to be at least 6'1". That's the rules. Alright, second bathroom is identical. Two medicine cabinets. Uh, this is the smallest of the four and it still fits a queen. Uh, it's still a very big bedroom. You can fall on a desk or you can legitimately do a queen facing this way and a desk in the corner. There's a lot of space, big closet, storage space above. But while it's smaller than the other ones, the other ones are also very large. So this is by no means a small bedroom. Take you to the last bedroom here. We open the door, king or queen and a desk. So the only one that you couldn't do a king and a desk would be the one that I just came from. The rest of them, no shortage of space, you got the arch on the windows, you got the metal beam above. They, they did a really great job keeping the best parts in terms of the character and the renovation. So, you know, like little things like this. So, it feels like you're in uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul. So, more storage space up there. Overall, just a very, very big four bedroom. Very much a hangout apartment, if I may say so myself, because the living room is so large, as are the bedrooms. If you have any questions, let us know as we finish in the next couple of days in regards to small things like just putting the wall covering there. And that is it. So reach out if you have any questions. I'll give you one last look at the living room. We are on the first floor, but uh, you're about eight feet up from the actual ground floor. So there's steps up to the building.